Hello, today here we are going to talk about how to use classification tables for expanded noun phrases. So actually, we will try to learn how to make your speech sound more academic and more valuable to your listener. So at first, let's briefly review what we have already done. We talked about classification tables and classification diagrams. We talked about comparing and contrast. And today we are going to describe something. So, and we'll be going, we'll be doing it on the example of a play. We will be talking about theater in the topic of entertainment and we will be doing uh, mm -hmm, the place. So let's look at the map. And uh, in this map, uh, as usually we start with classification, we see the following categories uh, that we may use. There are types of theaters, uh, types of plays, uh, stories or plots, uh, what the play is about. Uh, they are typical plots. Uh, there are parts of a story which is often called a plot or a plot line. There are different scene types and there are performers as well. You see that here we can assess the performance, good performance and bad performance. So, uh, but before we start talking about uh, the theater, theatrical play here, yeah? Let's uh, quickly learn uh, what expanded noun phrases uh, or expanded noun groups are. Expanded noun groups uh, make uh, sentences complex. Uh, it's when uh, we add to a noun more and more information. Uh, and uh, in general, it gives us uh, several wonderful, uh, very, very good signs of what we're talking about. It gives us uh, more clarity, so it uh, adds professionalism to what we are saying. It shows effective communication, it enhances understanding, and uh, it helps us to persuade. Here I am talking about business writing, but it is true to any kind of writing. So let's look uh, at our table and at our visual and uh, decide uh, what we have here. Yeah? We already said that we have categorization, we have types of theaters, types of plays, and types of plots, uh, also types of scenes. Uh, that's all our categorization. We have succession, the six parts of the story. We can say that firstly, secondly, thirdly. So here, how succession is used. Uh, and uh, we have uh, opinion. So we can talk about our opinion. So now let's use all this vocabulary to describe a theater play. For the description, we need to talk about a title, about the place where we watched it, the genre, the plot, characters, what the play is about. Usually we're talking about a problem and a solution. The scene types uh, that were used uh, and how the actors uh, perform. So you may use uh, this card, uh, the speaking and writing card, uh, for describing any type of a play here uh, using the visual as well. So let's describe uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, by William Shakespeare using this map. So the title as Romeo and Juliet, the place is the theater, Globe Theater, London. The genre is tragedy, and uh, probably here we can say that it's the Renaissance tragedy. The plot, this is uh, the story about two young lovers, uh, Romeo and Juliet, uh, who come from feuding families uh, and fall deeply in love. If uh, we look at this, uh, we'll see that uh, this is uh, the pure tragedy plot. 
The characters are Romeo, Juliet, and so on. And uh, the play is uh, about uh, the feud between the families, uh, which makes uh, the love forbidden. And actually, there is no good solution here. So you know that uh, their solution leads uh, to the death uh, of uh, both Romeo and Juliet. There are different scene types. Uh, there are dialogues, uh, there are opening scenes, uh, there are introductions of characters, uh, actions, uh, and so on. And um, uh, we can talk about the parts of the story and describe uh, what the story, how the story was uh, unfolding. But also, we can talk about the performance uh, of uh, the actors. Uh, and we can say that uh, they uh, live the part, uh, the performance uh, uh, made the story compelling, uh, compelling story, and so on and so forth. So that was a very quick and brief description of the story. And now let's try to do an expanded noun group. So, for example, uh, we can say that... Uh, the performance of Romeo and Juliet at London's famous Globe Theatre. And uh, we see the expanded uh, group here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Mm -hmm. We see the expanded group here. It is uh, the tragic love story of Romeo and Juliet from feuding family amidst their outgoing conflict. Uh, that is the expanded noun group uh, that helps us to understand uh, about uh, the plot of the story and gives more details uh, about it. Mm -hmm. So another expanded noun phrase uh, we find uh, in uh, the description of what the cast did. And we see that the talented cast uh, brought to life various emotional scenes, uh, leaving a strong impression with its exploration of love, hate, and tragedy. And we can see here that uh, we are using participle one. So we are connecting the parts uh, of the sentences. And that's how we are getting a really strong expanded noun group. So your task here will be to write uh, about uh, the theatrical play uh, using everything that we have already talked about. Uh, so let's quickly review. Today, yeah, we were doing a description based on classification. We used the classification table that provided us the categories, subcategories, and additional details. So we learned how important it is for any type of communication to expand, to know how to expand noun phrases. We went back to the table, to their visual, and uh, we saw the type of relations uh, inside the table. Then uh, we described uh, one play, uh, namely Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. And we used all these categories for the description. And then uh, we tried uh, to create uh, expanded noun phrases uh, uh, talking about uh, Romer and Juliet again. Uh, and uh, that is how we were able to make our speech uh, sound uh, more uh, like academic, uh, more educated. So thank you for your attention and bye-bye. Uh,